So um, my experience with Facebook in particular is as, is as first and foremost as a user. I started using Facebook when I was, how old was I in 2006? Like 12, I think, 13, something. And I've had my whole life on Facebook. It's quite, it is as valuable to me as, um, you know, as, as, as some of my most important possessions, you know, the sort of the wallet that my grandfather gave me, these sort of things. Like my identity, my information on Facebook and the pictures I have had have posted on there from when I was 12 hanging out with my family to uh, the conversations and, and interactions I've had with my own family members and friends on it are an integral part of, my, of who I am. It's my history. It's, my, it's not just my history, it's my identity. I've put myself online, on Facebook. And so I think there needs to be a, a, a drastic shift in the way that people look at what social media and Facebook are. I think uh, a lot of the sort of blow, like the attacks that people, people have against, for example, Damien's work or but the work that we're doing against corporations like Facebook is, oh, well, it's a business. Oh, that they should be allowed to do this because you've decided to use their service. But I think people need to remind themselves that like slavery, like the sex trade, Facebook's product is us, is our identity, is who we are. Any time you have a company that uses you as a human being to sell some, to, to, to sell you to advertisers, then you you come across with a lot of problems. And I think there needs to be a cultural shift in how we talk about organizations like Facebook. Uh, in Facebook in particular, because Facebook's, is, 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 Facebook's response to everything that's gone on over the last year is telling of the culture within Silicon Valley of how um, oh, you, don't, you, you people don't understand our vision. You people, you people can't understand what we're what we're trying to do with Facebook. We're trying to make it into like a, a, a as integral as water or electricity, but it already is as integral as water and electricity, which is why, just like water and electricity, you need regulation. You need to view it as something that is not that is is our right, not Facebook's. Our uh, social media is. I use. Like, I can show you on my phone, it's really embarrassing, I shouldn't say this, but I have, like, I, have, I could spend, like, easily 12, 13 hours on my phone, and of that, like, six hours on Instagram, like, every day, like, almost. <laughs> so, um, like, it is, it, it is a vital and integral part of my life, and I think the conversations that journalists and the media have around Facebook is treating it as if we're, uh, as if it's, like, Chanel or H&M, it's a product that we, that we use. We don't, we, Facebook is our right. Social media is our right. Being able to communicate with our family and apply for jobs like on LinkedIn, um, even fall in love like Tinder or Match.com. These are, it, these are integral parts of our lifestyle now and I think uh, people need to stop viewing Facebook uh, and what it is as, as a business and a service we use and, and as something as, as someone or a company that uses us. Um, I don't really have much more to add than anything that Damien or, uh, Carol have already, already said, but yeah, I just think the way that we look at organizations like Facebook needs to revert back to that we are the product, and so we need to have our, we need to sort of take back control of <laughs> our identities and our data. Sorry for using that. I know a lot of you aren't, okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you so much.